Good afternoon, everyone. It's Miss Dunnigan again. I hope you're all doing great. I miss you all so much. Um, hope you, everyone is staying safe and, and doing what they need to to stay healthy. And, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll see you guys just as soon as we can. So I'm on video number two. So I'm going to mark off on my checklist sheet. We're going to be working on adding mixed numbers today. I'm going to use the same procedure I did for video one. So I'm going to do the first two. Then if you haven't completed the sheet, I'm going to recommend that you stop the video um, and do the next two on your own. And then you can watch as I go through question three and four and you can check your work. If you've already completed this, you can just check it with me and correct any mistakes that you made, just like we always do in class, check and correct. And, um, and then if you finish, um, I'm going to complete these worksheets and take snapshots of them and put them on Dojo. Um, only if you've shown me, so if you send me a picture of your completed sheet, um, then I'll be happy to send you the key so you can check your work or you can use a loved one to help you with that as well. All right, so we're on page number two, adding mixed numbers, and I'm just starting from the beginning of the packet and moving on. All right, so this is pretty much the same procedure as adding um, fractions with unlike denominators, except for you have to think about pulling out the holes and also adding your whole numbers because it's mixed numbers. And remember, our definition of a mixed number is just a fraction and a number. Um, so here we go. So we don't have common denominators. So I'm going to go ahead and change, make um, equivalent fractions with eights. Four times what is eight? Two. If I do it to the bottom, I have to do it to the top. Three times two is six. So we have four and three six plus eight and four eights. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it over here so you can see. Oops. Four and six eighths plus eight and four eighths. So we're going to add our whole numbers first. Eight plus four is twelve. We're going to add our numerators just like we did previously. Six plus four is ten eighths. So as we did on that last question on problem number four, we have to pull out a hole. So if I pull out a hole, I have 12 and 8 eighths plus 2 eighths. And that's going to turn into 12 plus 1 is 13 and 2 eighths, which we just did this problem on the other page, reducing 2 eighths to 1 fourth. So your answer is 13 and 1 fourth. All right, we're going to do our next one. I'm going to go ahead and just make my equivalent fraction right here. 5 times what is 15? 3. If I do it to the bottom, i got to do it to the top. 1 times 3 is 3. So my new problem is going to be 4 and 6 fifteenths plus 7 and 3 fifteenths. Okay, think in your head. What's our first step? Yep, we're going to add our whole number, 7 plus 4, 11. What's our next step? Think in your head. 6 plus 3, 9 fifteenths. Am I done? How do we check? Oh, I didn't write my magic numbers. I'm going to go ahead and write them at the top. So what are our first seven magic numbers? And what do we call these numbers? Think in your head. Prime, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and 13. All right, so they're not even. I can't divide by 2, but I can divide them both by 3. Remember, if you do it to the top, you got to do it to the bottom. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So our final answer is 11 and 3 fifths. All right, at this point, if you haven't completed numbers 3 and 4, you're going to stop the video and pause it and complete those two and then you're going to check them as we go over it together. If you have already completed, you can just keep going. All right, so here we go for number three and four. 26, if you're not sure, you can always just do a little quick math on the side. 13 plus 13 is 26. So I need to make an equivalent fraction with 26. Well, I just learned that two groups of 13 make 26. So 13 times 2 is 26, and 3 times 2 is 6. You do it to the bottom, you got to do it to the top. I know you guys think I sound like a broken record, but that's the best way to get it in your brain is you just always say it. 
All right, go. All right, here we go. Thank you. What's your first step? Add the whole numbers. Second step. Add the numerators. Are we done? Okay, so the first thing you should be thinking to yourself is these are even numbers, which means they are automatically divisible by what? If you said two, you got it. Here we go. 10, 14 divided by 2 is 7. 26 divided by 2, we just figured out, is 13. All right, so now you're going to look at your numerator and denominator. And what do you notice about both the numerator and the denominator? They are what? Prime. And if you said that both those are prime, we know that it is simplified or reduced or in lowest terms using all those synonyms. We know they can state it anyway on the test. All right, here we go. Last one for number two. So we're going to turn our ninths into twenty-sevenths because I know nine times three is twenty-seven. All right, so my equivalent fraction is going to be six twenty-sevenths. We're going to add our whole numbers. Add our numerators. So I'm not sure. I don't know all the multiples of 27. So I'm just going to start with my magic numbers and go through each one and make sure. Because if you don't have your factor chart in front of you, this is the fastest way. Well, they're not both even, so it's not 2. 3 can't go into 10. 5 can't go into 27. 7 can't go into 10. So if you've already gotten to that point, you know you can stop. You have one last question you're supposed to ask. Can the numerator go into the denominator? Because if you had something like 1326, that could be reduced because 13 can go into 26. All right, but 10 can't go into 27, so that is our simplified fraction, 9 and 10 27. All right, so at this point, you're going to stop and make sure you've completed your final ones. And as always, if you're done, you can send me a picture and show me that you're done, and I'd be happy to send you the key. All right, hope everyone's doing well. Love you guys. Bye-bye.